Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will see the monitor which is used to handle the critical session. And in this class we will see the abstract data type for monitor type and syntax of monitor, semantic view of a monitor and wait and signal operations after that signal and continue operations. First let us see the monitor type. It is ADT. ADT is nothing but abstract data type. Okay, that encapsulates data with set of functions. That is to operate on that data. Okay, the functions will perform some operations on that data. Hence, it is called as abstract data type. Okay, here monitor is also ADT, which includes a set of functions. That is user defined functions or operations that provide with mutual exclusion within the monitor okay those operations will be performed only inside the monitor right see the monitor type also declares variable and functions that operates on those variables okay here the variables contains data okay the functions nothing but operations so the operations will be performed on that data and next let us see the syntax of monitor. See this is the monitor of type monitor. Okay. Monitor followed by monitor name. Okay. Because monitor is an ADT. ADT means abstract data type. Okay. But that means by the name of monitor we are creating a new data type which contains see shared variables. All the shared variables will be declared here. Okay. That is here data are in the form of shared variables. In previous slide we have seen the ADT contains data plus operation. Isn't it? Here we are having data by means of this shared variable and operations which are uh, nothing but the functions. We are having function 1, uh, the function P2 and function pn etc up to function pn we are having n functions the functions are nothing but the operations right right okay and these functions are mutually exclusive within the monitor within the monitor only these functions will be executed and at a time only one functions will be called for execution okay we cannot call two or three functions simultaneously that is the functions are mutually exclusive that means only one function is allowed for execution at a time okay and inside the function we are using the variables which are the variables we are using inside the function the monitor variable so these are the monitor variable as well as the formal parameter that means see a function defined within the monitor can access only those variables declared locally within the monitor declared locally within the monitor so within the monitor here these variables are there and the formal parameter formal parameter that, that is available here formal parameters okay because by using these two only we can access the data and similarly the local variables of a monitor okay these local variables can be accessed only by the local functions which are the local function we are having function p1 function p2 etc up to function pn okay so this variable available only for these functions those are within the monitor right this is the syntax for monitor and next let us see the semantic view of monitor okay monitor construct that is the constructor of monitor which ensures only one process at a time is active within the monitor okay so this is uh, the diagram for monitor every monitor contains the shared data and a set of operations after that the initialization code okay that is initializing all the data right there are three sections there in monitor first one is shared data second one is set of operations and third one is initialization code okay here the monitor construct ensures 
only one process at a time active inside the monitor that means here we are having n number of operations but only one operation is allowed to call at a time to execute at a time ok. Here we are having condition x and y. So, based on the condition the corresponding operations will be executed. And next let us see the weight and signal operations ok. So, that is inside the monitor we are having two operations the first one is weight and second one is signal ok. First let us see the weight operations. Weight means the process invoking this operation is suspended until other process invokes that is this is CPU. CPU is currently executing some other process that is process X. Now process 1 will be wait until the PX completes its execution. Then only the P1 will uh, access the CPU for its execution. Okay? So, the P1 is in wait state. right? And next one is signal operations. Signal operation means the P1 will be resumed for accessing the CPU. Right? This is called as signal operations. If process is suspended, then signal operation has no effect. That is, if P1 got suspended, then there is no use of this signal operation. Okay? And next let us see the monitor operations signal and wait which is the processes P and Q that is we are having two process P and Q and the operations signal and wait will be performed on those processes P and Q. First let us see the wait operation ok x dot wait x dot wait means based on the condition x how the wait operations will be performed the process P is performing the wait operations ok. The process P is performing on weight operation on any condition variable or suspended. Okay? If P is performing weight operations, then the condition variable will be suspended and the process Q will be placed in the block Q. That is, if we are having P and Q here, if P perform weight operation, then the process P Q will be that is process Q will be placed in the block Q. Block Q. Okay? That is each condition variable has its unique block Q. That is two condition variable as per our example x and y. Each x and y are having its unique block Qs. This is x and this is for y. Right? And next let us see the signal operation that is x dot signal operation signal operation with respect to the condition x if suspended process q is allowed to resume ok that is the process q resumes this process sorry the process p resumes the process q right if the suspended process q is allowed to resume that is the q is actually in the block q is not it the process q is already in the block Q now that is resumed that is resumed then the signaling process must wait signaling which is the signaling process P P is the signaling process now now the signaling process will goes to block Q right otherwise what will happen both and both the P and Q would be active simultaneously within the monitor ok that is both process can continue with that execution then we will get the problem. Here two possibilities exist first one is signal and wait and second one is signal and continue. Signal and wait means the process P either waits until Q leaves the monitor or waits for another condition ok that is the process P have to wait until the Q should exit from the monitor. Okay. And second one is signal and continue that is Q either waits until P leaves the monitor. Okay. See initially now P is in the monitor next Q will be wait until the P will leave the monitor. 
and next let us see the signal and continue that is signal and continue operations if the process p was already executing the monitor okay this is the monitor now the process p was executing then the signal and continue method seems more reasonable let us see how it is if we allow the thread p to continue see already p is there inside the monitor and we allow the p to continue then by the time q is resumed by the time q is where the q is that is available in the block q isn't it q is resumed the logical condition of q was waiting no longer hold okay the q is now waiting in the block q when thread p executes the thread p executes the signal that means the process p completes its execution inside the monitor then it will call this uh, signal operation okay that means immediately the p will leave this monitor then the q will automatically enter into the monitor immediately resumed so this is called a signal and continue up to this we have seen the monitor in inter process communication under this we have seen the monitor type syntax and semantic view of monitors and the operations wait and signal and wait and continue and in the next class we will see another important topic from operating system thank you